Hey what's up everyone, welcome back to another video. Once you load up this seed, you will spawn over in this area by these trees right here. And if I just fly up here, you can see we have this giant mountain area right there. Which looks, just already looks super huge and amazing and will definitely take a while to climb. But you can also see we have a jungle right there. And then we have a bit of a snow biome right here, just a small one. We also have a flower field right there. Got some plains, some birch, and then we also have more of a plains area over there. Got this like river here, and a bit more of a little lake area over here, and mountain cave going over there. Little entrance for you guys to go in there if you want to explore it. But the part that's really the most important here is what's beyond this mountain right here. I have gone up to the mountain, guys, but before I show you guys, what is exactly in this whole canyon valley mountain area you're going to want to make sure you hit that sub button have notifications on for any upcoming videos and leave a like helps out the channel a lot all right it's time to show you guys what's over here and here we go we got a whole mansion right here we got a village here as well and then we have a pillager base that's actually in the whole mansion right here it was like it's thrown in there <laughs> all pretty cool right here so let me actually show you guys fully what's going on here so yes we do have a whole mansion and yes the whole pillager tower right here has generated into this woodland mansion right here so i can go further down and you can see there is a whole pillager tower in here as well all the pillagers are here as you can see right there and then we have this village over here. We have this prison with some allies in here. So you can let them out if you want. <laughs> oh, looks like part of this villager's house is broken. Yeah, sorry, bud. All right, so we have the rest of this village right here, which you can basically have an infinite amount of raids, pretty much. So definitely want to keep that in mind when you're over here because we have a pillager area here that might come and attack these guys. Now we also have a ravine right here that you can go into to explore that cave down there as well. So let's go check it out, kind of see what it's about, see exactly what is down here. Because there's going to be a lot of different cave systems you'll come across you know, while exploring the seed. So you can see it goes down here, we got some lava over there. And then we have some stuff over this way, we have some deep dark right here. And then it also like goes further down, so you'll notice that there's actually a whole bunch of different deep dark that's in all these different cave systems here. And then there's actually some lush cave areas as well that I'm going to go show you guys. But if you guys wanted to know where some diamonds are, there's actually one right here. Let's take a look and see if there's any more than just this one right here. Okay, so it looks like it's just this single diamond right here. But it is near this entrance right here if you... Just fly up right here you can see there's the entrance and then down there is where that diamond is now when you're exploring you'll notice that near this mountain terrain area over here you have this huge taiga biome over here and you'll also find a ruined portal right here so you can go check out this ruined portal which is a bit buried right here but there is this obsidian right here and some gold which you can get from this ruined portal over there it doesn't look like there is a chest right here it looks like it maybe got buried or got destroyed by something else that i was trying to generate and then there's another ruined portal elsewhere as well that's nearby that you guys can go check out so let me go actually go find that real quick now by this whole mountain terrain over here there is another ruined portal over there but you'll notice that in this area right here there'll be some calcite that's just generating on the surface and it makes like a whole shape here as you can see right here so it goes from like here and then here and goes for travels a bit further down over this way but yeah there's just a whole bunch right here so if you want calcite you can come here and get some i don't see any like geodes spawning or anything but here's some calcite right there for you guys to go get that if you're a fan of calcite and wanted that and then over here we have the ruined portal right here now this one is more of a whole ruined portal that's actually not so buried under the ground but here you can get the obsidian actually you can rebuild the whole thing pretty much and then there's some gold there but we have a chest right here and in this chest there's some flint some flint and steel we also have a gold 
We also have golden boots and a clock as well if you guys wanted to get that. The seed is already off to a good start already. There's two ruined portals you can go to if you want to go to the nether within a decent amount, within a certain amount of time. And then we also have the woodland mansion here, a whole village, and a pillager tower to also check out and get some loot from as well. Now, if I just come back over this way, that's towards where that taiga biome area is, which is over there. You'll be able to see that we have some lush caves generating right here. So if I just fly down right here, we have this whole bit of a lush cave right here. And if I just keep going in this way, we have some more lush cave generating here. There is an exit to the other part right there. And then I can just go back. You can see some water cave kind of spawning there. But I can also just go over this way and go down. You'll be able to see even more of a lush cave is generating right here. And we can actually just go down here more. And also this way. And there's just so much of this lush cave here. Let me actually drink a bottle of night vision here for you guys. To actually kind of show you what this fully looks like. You'll just want to keep exploring around because then you'll find it keeps going down further and you'll be able to find just a whole bunch of other different cave systems. As you can see it's going down even further here and the deep dark area starts spawning below all these different lush cave areas. So we have some right here and then it continues further down this way. So you'll definitely want to be careful when traveling through these different caves right here because you'll find a deep dark you may actually summon the warden on accident so be super careful guys if i just come over this way a bit and then go down this way as well you'll be able to get some diamonds right here looks like it's just the one block yeah just the one block but then if you break into here you'll be able to find there is a dungeon right here zombie spawner one and we can go check out these chests we got some bread we have a music disc right here and we also have another chest right here with Feather Falling 1, some redstone, and some other stuff as well. So this dungeon is here for you guys to go check out. Coordinates are on screen right now for you guys to go to this dungeon right here to explore. And then there's also some other things. And here's a trial chamber if you guys want to check this out. It's also actually near an ancient city if you want to check that out. But coordinates are on screen for this trial chamber right here. And then you can also see there's a geode that's spawning right here. So you can kind of break into this one or break into this trial chamber first. And then let me kind of just show you the, the size of this trial chamber right here. It's a decent size and looks like we have and a whole dungeon right here. It doesn't seem like there's any chest spawning in right here. It's a skeleton spawner one though, but it is by this trial chamber right here. So you can check that out and then... If I just go over this way, you'll be able to see that there is an ancient city over this way. So let me get the coordinates for you guys. And here is the ancient city for you guys. Coordinates are on screen right now for you guys to go check out this ancient city as well to explore it and see what exactly is in this place. And as you can see, it's, it's pr a pretty big ancient city. And for reference, the mountain area was over there. And then uh, there is a cherry blossom over here. And then very far down underground, you'll be able to find the ancient city that's under there. As well as the trial chamber that is nearby as well. And you'll notice that with the seed, there's a, just a whole bunch of different biomes that are near each other. And if you come over this way, that's near the cherry blossom. You'll be able to find yet another cherry blossom area. But as well, you'll be able to find this village right here. So we have this full village over here that is by itself. It's not, you know, having to be worried about a mansion or pillager tower attacking it. And it's here for you guys to go check out. We got some horses spawning right there, looks like. Got a whole ocean area over here for you to explore anything in the ocean as well. And if I just continue over to this ocean, you'll be able to see that there is a shipwreck right here. So let me go check it out for you guys right here. So we have the shipwreck. Part of the wood is sticking out right here, so... So you'll be able to see where this shipwreck exactly is. Cornet's on screen right now. I really think you guys are definitely going to enjoy this seed. It offers just so many different things. So let me know what you think of the seed in the comments below. And if you find any other cool or interesting seeds that you want me to check out, leave a comment below with that seed. And I'll definitely go check it out. And I'll see you next time.